All right, let's talk about indents and spacing. First, indents. Okay, indents you're going to find right here, these little diamond things. And you can see um, hanging, you can make a hanging indent, and the little box in the bottom just moves both the top and the bottom one. Over here, you have a right indent. So um, the first thing you have to do is highlight the paragraph that you're going to modify. And so the indents, you can see I've got some tabs associated with this paragraph. So I could pull those off first off, first of all. I could um, take this in and have, have it line up a little bit more narrow. I can grab the square on the bottom. So this would be a double indent. So double indent from each side. You probably have to do that when you quote something long um, in an English class maybe. The most common indent is uh, a first line indent. When the top one is pushed in, usually it's five spaces or half an inch, and the wrap goes back here. This one would be here. Most common. You also may see a hanging indent, which looks like that. So this hangs over the top. So those are pretty much uh, Okay, and that would be a left indent. That's it, pretty much how those go. Wow, that was kind of fast. I think that's everything though. Okay, let's talk spacing. So um, in the old days, I used to highlight these hard returns and then I would modify the size of it. So if I needed a lot of space between two paragraphs, I would go like that. Or if I needed it to be really tight, like I was trying to get everything on one page, I would do that. And now we have better options. Let me show you what those are. So you can grab this paragraph and you go here to um, page layout, which is, is like par it's usually all the features of paragraph. Okay, here's your indenting, which you could do, and you see how the triangles move. You also have spacing before and spacing after, so you could put more space above. You see how that blue above the paragraph gets bigger? That means you have spacing above going on. So we'll put that one at six, but you can also have it below. And sometimes that's a nice way to give space when you're working on a resume or any kind of a document that you're trying to get it to fit to one page. So here maybe we just do six and six. So you can see how it starts to look a little bit more, a little bit easier to read when you add the white space. You can also do it here. See, it's already got 12 and 3, but we could include, we could add more in the bottom. And uh, if you highlight all of these, you'll see these go clear. Anytime a field does that, it means you've highlighted um, a section, and in that section there are different values that go in there. And so the computer doesn't know what value that you want to see because some of it's six above and some of it was 12 above and whatever. So if you wanted to set them all to the same, you just hit the number and enter. And now they're all the same spacing. So that was a really quick lecture on indenting and spacing. I hope it was helpful.